Well, hello, Warriors, and welcome to the start of an exciting year here at Wabansi Valley, your senior year. Today, we're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to request your transcripts as part of the college application process. Please know that, the that requesting your transcripts is a two-step process. You'll need to fill out a paper request form here at school and turn it in to Ms. Harris in the main office. You'll also need to request your transcripts electronically through Naviance. It's vital that you do both steps in order to ensure timely delivery of your transcript. We'll start by doing a digital request of your transcripts through Naviance. You can log into Naviance right from the Wobansi student website. Simply click on the Naviance link. When you get in, you'll be asked for your student email and your password. At the start of the year, your password is the same as your single sign-on password. Please know that Naviance does not sync with single sign-on, so if you have updated your password sometime during the year, you'll need to manually do that here at Naviance. Once you log into Naviance, you'll, the first thing you'll want to do is start adding schools to the list of schools that you're thinking about. You can do that by using the search bar right at the top. Simply type in the name of the school that you're thinking about. Once you've done your search, you can click on the list. When you click on any college, you'll be directed to a page of information that not only gives you general admissions data on that school, but also information on past students who have applied from Wabansi. If you decide that you do want to apply to that school, click on the heart icon next to the school's name at the top of the page. Now you've added that school to the list of colleges you're thinking about. From here on out, any time that school contacts Wabansi to set up a college visit, you will also be informed. You can repeat this process for as many schools as you want to. From here, go back to your home page and select colleges I'm thinking about. From here, you'll see a list of all the schools that you've added to that list. To change that from a school you're thinking about to a school you're applying to, check the box next to them, and then click Move to Applications. You'll now be asked a series of questions that you'll want to think about. For this college, we're being asked, which application deadline do you prefer? The most common deadlines are regular decision, early decision, early action, or rolling admissions. Please be aware of which one you are intending to apply for. Then it will also ask you how you plan on submitting your application. You'll need to decide is this a common app school or are you applying directly to the institution either online or through a paper application. For this school we're going to apply via the common app. Then you will confirm that you have already submitted your application. It's important that you submit your application before sending your transcripts. Then simply add and request transcripts. The final step here will be to go ahead and select whether you're sending your initial or your final transcript. Please remember in the fall you're requesting your initial transcripts. You will only send your final transcript once you've committed to the college in May. Then hit request and finish. Congratulations, you've now added Augustana College to the list of schools you're applying to and your transcript will be sent electronically. This screen will also give you a list of all the colleges that you've requested transcripts for and where your materials are in the process. You'll be able to see that your transcript has been requested and you'll also be able to see what the status in the office is. Right now all the transcripts are pending. Once they've been sent, you'll see that change to confirmed or sent. To finish the process, you'll need to submit a paper transcript request form to Ms. Harris in the main office. These can be found in any of the class houses or they can be printed off, off one of the Wabansi websites. You can print a copy directly from Naviance by scrolling down to the bottom of the main page and looking at links from your school. From here you'll be able to see the transcript request form. Simply print this out, fill it in, and then bring it into Mrs. Harris.
This form can also be found off the beat under the counselor's office links at the top of the page. If you have any questions throughout this process, feel free to stop by the College and Career Center, now located in the cafeteria, or any one of the school counselors here at Wabansi Valley. Best of luck on your college applications, and go Warriors!